Hello, YouTube. So today is still week one, but today is SBD. So I have secondary squat, bench, and deadlift. Um, super light. Um, secondary squat today, I believe, is tempo. A sink, so a tempo single, and then I think I have three, like three paused, and then I have a three by three paused, something like that at least, and then. Bench is just, I think, a top set and three back downs of Larson, like all Larson today. And then deadlifts are full reset deadlifts with RDLs, like always, um, which I've been liking a lot. So I have a one by five at five of those reset deadlifts. Um, I have no clue. My tempo, I know my top set is at, I think, 115 kilo. Which is like 250, maybe. Which is really light. Um, and then I have no clue what the pauses are. They might be at 6, or they might be a number. I don't even know. I believe my Larson is at 6. So, uh, like I said, everything's really light. <clears throat> it is week 1, so it's supposed to be light. Um, so it doesn't really surprise me that everything's light. Because it's supposed to be. Um, other than that... I got my Eclipse singlet, finally, but it does have um, some bar stains, some like orangey bar stains, so I'm trying to clean them right now. Um, the guy that sold them to me is also helping me clean them today, hopefully. Hopefully that gets all cleaned up, but then my singlet looks nice and fresh. I'm wearing a singlet today as well, if you couldn't tell. I'm wearing my A7 black and white singlet. Um, and I did finally get my footage for the meet, so I just need to figure out a way that I want to edit it. And make a video out of it because I don't have that much footage. I only have like 11 pictures and I have obviously my video of all my lifts and then different angles and stuff. Um, but I don't know how I want to do the actual video. So I got to look into that a little bit. Um, and yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I am kind of tired today, but it is Tuesday. It's it's like normal time I normally would work out. It's actually a little later than I normally would work out. It's like 3 o'clock. Um, we're going to get a good workout in. We got SPD, which I don't love doing it's kind of exhausting but the main focus today is hit undeniable depth on squats so i'm wearing a singlet for that reason literally only to just make sure i can hit depth on my squat we are doing the new thing that i was telling you guys about the other day i think or maybe i didn't but my coach pretty much solved my like, life problem um of not being able to squat so i always no matter what since i started working out or not even working out if somebody asks you to squat, I have to go on my toes, like the tip of my toes to hit like depth, like with no weight, like with at, like just on the floor. Um, because my heels can stay planted and I never knew why. I always thought it was like an ankle mobility thing or whatever, but apparently that's, that's bull. That is not an ankle mobility thing. I've just been squatting really weird so since i'm you so the way my coach described it at least for now is since i'm so used to squatting with really really big heels right my heels are like the maximum size you're allowed to use i'm like pitched like this which i'm pretty sure i talked about this like i'm pitched like this so you're on your toes already so it's a lot easier to hit depth because you're pushing up and you're like you hardly have to move you know you just get this kind of stay where you are since i'm no longer on heels I still only know how to squat on heels. So I think I talked about the last time I was squatting, but I was like, I need to kind of relearn how to squat. But the thing I didn't talk about, because I learned after that session, is I, <clears throat> since I'm on a heel, for you to get the bar to be straight over your midfoot, which is where the bar is going to naturally want to sit and where you're going to be the strongest position, you kind of have to lean back. So that instead of like, because naturally, right, you, you're pitched forward, so the bar is in front of you. So if, to get the bar lined up, you need to lean back. So that's what I've been doing, and that's what I'm used to doing, because that's how I squat. Like, that's how you squat with heels on. That's what you're supposed to do. That's what you have to do. But since I don't have heels on anymore, I'm no longer pitched like this. I'm now pitched like this, which means the bar naturally sits over my midfoot. So I... In my last squat session, which was actually not bad, but the reason my depth is questionable <clears throat> is because I I'm I was still leaning back. So like when I go to lock out my knees and like do everything that I was doing, 
I would then lean back because that's what I'm used to doing. So the bar would actually be behind my foot and I would have to be on my heels fully all the way down, which is pretty much impossible to hit depth. So the way my coach was like, he was like, listen, lean a little forward and trust your quads. So I've never done that before. And then I did it in my kitchen, like with no, like, you know, obviously with no weight on and just like in slides or like in socks. And I was holding an after grass squat like easily. And I was like, whoa, I've never been able to do this in my life. And I realized it's because he's like, you need to let your knees go over your toes a little bit. You can't be scared of that. So the whole point is I was never letting my knees go over my toes and I was leaning back. So when I heels on, that's fine because you lean back, your knees will naturally go over your toes because they're already pushed really far forward. Since that's not happening, you have to naturally, you have to artificially create that by yourself now because you don't have something doing it for you. So you have to let your knees go past your toes and trust your quads so that you can go straight up and down. It shouldn't be so much of a pitched movement like this. It should be a this, even though it's low bar, which I always was doing this because of the way the heels were. So that's why I couldn't grind because if you get stuck here, it's a lot harder for you to push off your heel this way than it is for you to just grind up. So it makes sense why I failed my squat and my meet, and it makes sense why my squat looks so weird and hopefully everything will be good this session. But the main focus is keep my eyes straight like I was last session. Brace everything good, everything good walkout wise and keep it all good and hit depth. So I'm really going to focus on hitting depth today. That's the main goal. Luckily, everything will be pretty light, so it shouldn't be an issue. But yeah, the main goal of today is hit depth consistently. Everything should move really easy. It's week one. I don't really feel like I have that much fatigue, so... We're at the end of week one as well, so I'm like pretty recovered. So looking forward to it. I just want to hit some depth. So we need undeniable depth. That's all I need right now. Undeniable depth. So let's get to the gym. Last one. Huh? Aaron, move! Yo, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> this is the last one. Up. Um, I'm going wider grip. It feels really good, so. Holy shit, no pain? No pain in my wrist? This is like a miracle. All right, we need a good tempo. We need a good tempo, good tempo. Good tempo tops it. Come on. Come on, I'm walking. So what is it? One by five. What? I haven't had five pause reps ever, so this might be interesting.
Fucking, I have like basically zero pain on my left hand, so a lot better. Okay, we have three by five. I was expecting to have three because I've my whole entire like last two three blocks, I've had paw squats with three. So seeing that I had paw squats with five, um, kind of shocked me. But that's alright. The paws were really, 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 really bad. I'll make these good. They should be light. Three by five, so make these pauses really good. I'll be happy. Hopefully those poses were better. I really like holding here on the bar. Still hurts, but not nearly as much as I did before. And the poses were also kind of mid. I need to lock the fuck in on poses. I just need to stop getting stuck on the owner. Keep hitting the rack. You lock in. Alright, this is the last set. I need to lock the fuck in. My pasta has been iffy. No, my pasta has been good. I want this set to be crazy. Come on.
Those had to be good. All right, we got Larson. We have top set of five. Three back tens of five. Okay, this should be my last one. I'm I'll do like two. I just like bench feels heavy as shit right now, but that's all. I'm gonna try to do 80 for five. We'll see. Flutter ups. Come on. Okay, we got two by five back downs. Last set of bench, and then we got beds. Come on. We got five full resets. It's been really easy so far. So I've been liking taking big jumps. So Let's see how this goes.
Super light. I don't even know if we have back ones. I know we have RDLs though. I have three sets of six to seven reps uh, RDLs. So obviously everything, like I said, week one, everything's super light. But we have RDLs. So let's get it. Two more. Two more. One more. All right, last set, last set. Last set of audios. Nope. Whoops. Hack squat. Okay, we got two sets of hack squat. Eight to ten reps. Get a bit decently light here. Nope, too low. Holy shit. Not easy. Oh, that's, that was hard as shit, but do it again. Come on.
One more. One more. Come on. Oh my god. Like girl. We have fucked in our ups. Hopefully this is a good weight. Don't actually know, but we'll see. That's a good weight. Oh my god. Kind of heavy. Fine. This is the last set of like girl, and I'm supposed to have abs, but I don't know if I'm going to do them. <laughs> I'm so fried. Oh, and I almost died. Oh my god, I'm so fucked. Um, just do a bunch, I don't know. Just go with no failure. Um, I was going to skip them, but just two sets. And... Oh, did I? You can definitely do more than that, but I'm cramping. Okay, last set of the day. Let me leave. I'm so exhausted.
Okay, so I just recorded the whole thing, and uh, my mic was dead. So, um, I hope my mic wasn't dead for every single set I had at the end of that workout. I think it was. Um, so that sucks. It's going to be silent for a little bit there, but I have to record this again. So, like I was saying, it was a good session. Uh, extremely long. It was a four-hour session, which is pretty normal for me on SBD days, but I was also talking a bunch. But yeah, it is 7 p.m. I got here at 3 um, it was a very, very, very long session, um, which is normal because SPD takes forever and then I had accessories and on their hard accessories. So my hamstrings are just absolutely, absolutely destroyed. Um, for me to do standing leg curl, it took me like 15 to 20 minutes in between sets and I still was struggling with light weight. It was like after squatting and deadlifting and doing hack squat and RDLs, I was destroyed, which makes sense. Um, so I'm not really mad about that. Everything went well today as well. I'd say squats, top set tempo was insane. Really felt amazing. Best it's ever felt on my back. I think it's the best it's ever moved. And um, depth was pretty undeniable in my opinion. So maybe my tempo was not amazing, but everything else was perfect. And then my pause squat top set was awful. I didn't really pause at all. I don't know why, but we're not gonna talk about it. And then my last back down was definitely my best pause squat set. Just had to really focus on like, counting to two in my head so i counted one two and then i was like a one second pause so focus on that but depth is undeniable right now which i'm really happy about um and then bench was easy uh last warm-ups felt a little hard but when i actually did my top set it felt really easy and then full reset deadlifts felt amazing um my deads are just flying right now so i really want to just start pulling i'm a little deadlift specialist right now and i am built for a deadlift so happy that it's actually finally feeling good um and yeah, let's suck it today. I am exhausted and my stomach hurts a little bit right now. I think mostly from doing the crunches at the end. But I'm just like, I'm gassed. I'm starving. And I need to study because I have my first exam tomorrow. So I got to study up, lock in for that exam. Get to have an off day tomorrow as well, which is nice. And Thursday we do a little tempo day. And that's the end of week one. Then we got some week two squats and deads. And bench. And just we get to lock in. We're getting towards towards some big numbers at the end of this block um at the end of this block i think right now our goal is for me to triple 185 on dead which is pretty good that's like right under what i hit in comp or triple 175 which is like seven and a half kilos under what i hit in comp so if i can triple that it's really really fun that's good uh squat i think i'm just do a quad with like five kilos under my comp and then i have a single about what i did in comp and then bench, I'm doing two and a half kilos more than I did in comp, hopefully at a nine. So at the end of this block, it's gonna be uh, some big numbers. Um, I'm actually really looking forward to it. Hopefully they all move well. I think my dad, I can take even more than he's giving me just because my dad's been flying. It's at nine to nine and a half. So we have to push dads real hard. So happy about it. Block's going well, everything's going well, feeling good. It's gotta lock in, get the form perfect, perfected like like always. and. Squats have felt really good. Dallas felt really good. Bench is always good. It's got to get my arts better and just keep keep working. So everything's good right now. And uh, yeah, looking forward to the rest of the block. The rest of the block. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you in the next one. Peace.